as we get set to start the third game. Riel for the Chiefs on 12, picks up seven. Clancy for the Eagles on 11. Ball goes high. And he leaves just the seven pin. Picks up two. Clancy for the spare on late 11. And he will miss it to the right. Blair with eight on lead 12. Seymour with his strike on lane 11 for Beekman Town. <laughs> Blair picks up the spare on lane 12. Cotting goes through the middle, leaves the 3 6 10. Band with a strike for Saranac. Cotting for the spare on 11, and it just slides by the three pin. Sends it to the right on lane 12. Mike Watts up on 11 for Beekman Town. Watts gives it a lot of room and it doesn't come back. And Ashline misses the spare on lane 12. He picks up a total of eight for the frame. Watch for the spare on 12, and it slides in front of the two in the four pit. He has eight after one frame. Randy Blair for the Chiefs on 12. And he kicks out the 10 pin, gets the strike. Shane Briette on 11. And Briette gets the strike for Beekman Town. And Tim Clancy on lane 12 is perfect. lead, three marks to two after one. Evan Riel crosses over, gets nine. Roger Seymour looks for the double for Beekman Town. It's in a lot of room, ball hooks back nicely and gets the strike. Now Seymour with a double for Beekman Town. Riel goes for the one pin spare on 11. And he drops it off in the channel. Tom Cotting on lane 12. Gives it a lot of room, ball coming back and mixes them up and they all fall. Oh, Beekman Town starts out the second with three strikes. 
And it's up to Mike Watts to keep it going. Joel Blair on 11 for the Chiefs, comes up light. Watts on 12, goes in through the middle. And he leaves the 3 6 10. Blair makes the spare on lane 11. And Watts chops his off. And he has 16 after two. Van looks for a double on 11. Right there. And he can't punch out the five. Shane Briette on lane 12 for Bigmantown. Hooks across and gets nine. Band for the spare on lane 11. And he misses it wide to the right. Now we get Jason Ashline on lane 11 for Saranac as Briette goes for the spare for Bigmantown on 12. Briette makes the spare. And the Eagles pick up five marks in the frame, go to seven after two. Ashley gets seven. Evan Riel on 12. Comes in a bit high, and he leaves the 310 split. Ash line for the spare, misses it to the left. Riel for the spare, tries to slide it over and misses it to the left. Randy Blair leaves the 610. Joel Blair also leaves the 610. I think Randy went over and asked him, What are you doing watching me? Randy Blair makes the spare on 11. Joel Blair goes for the spare on 12. And Joel misses it to the right. Tim Clancy for Beekmantown up on 11. Seemed to hold on to that ball a bit. Really took off to the left. And he'll have a tough spare. Leaves the 5 9 on lane 12. And Clancy throws it too far to the right, drops it off in the channel. Now for the spare on 12. Van converts. Roger Seymour on lane 11 for Beekman Town. And it comes back nicely, but doesn't carry out the six pin. 
Ash line on 12. Misses to the left. And he leaves the 136. Seymour converts the spare, 49 after two, with a spare working in the third. Ashline makes his spare on lane 12. Tom Cotting on 11. And Cotting with a double. Blair with a washout on lane 12. Mike Watts is up on 11. And right through the middle. Bit high, and Watts will leave the forfeit. And we'll see if Randy Blair can convert the washout, something we haven't seen made all day long. This is the spare to the right. And we see the conversion. Randy Blair with a nice shot on lane 12, picking up the washout. Briette leaves the 10 pin as Clancy rolls a shot and gets the strike on lane 12. Lane condition here at North Bowl, uh, much more conducive to high scores than across the city at Plattsburgh lanes. Averages here at North Bowl quite a bit higher than they are at Plattsburgh lanes. I think you get more of a consistent shot here at North Bowl than uh, is set up at Plattsburgh lanes. Going wide is Roger Seymour. And Evan Riel leaves the two pin for Saranac. Seymour for the spare, but it doesn't hook back. That's his first open of the game. And now Tom Cotting will look to triple for Beekman Town. Riel going for the spare on 11, doesn't make it back. Now Cotting on 12. Did he give it enough room? No, goes through the middle. And he leaves the 3-6-10. Lane 11, Joel Blair leaves the 1 2 combination. Cotting goes for the spare on 12, flattened it out a bit and missed it to the left. Now Mike Watts on 12. Gives this one more room, a bit too much, and look out. The two, four, eight, ten. Tough split. Blair misses the conversion attempt on 11. This would be an easier shot for a left-hander, but a tough on a right-hander. Watts tries to mix them up, gets two. And Mike Watts, 33 after four. Travis Van with a strike for Saranac. Shane Briette on 12. Comes back nicely, gets the strike. 
Now Chase and Ashline. Won't get to the pocket. Leaves the one, two, four, eight. Evan Riel on 12, right through the middle, and leaves the combination of the 6-10. Ash line for the spare, covers it nicely on late 11. Riel picks up his spare on lane 12. Randy Blair goes a bit to the right, leaves the one two. Blair on lane 12. And he leaves the one, three, six. Randy Blair for the spare makes it on lane 11. Blair on lane 12, makes the 136 nicely. This brings up Tim Clancy for Beekman Town on lane 11. Clancy has it crossed to the left. After four complete frames, Beekman Town with 12 marks and Saranac with 11. And a washout for Travis Van on lane 12. Clancy chops the one pin off the three. And no. Nice try by Travis Van, but he couldn't carry out the 10. Van has 76 midway through the third game. Roger Seymour on 11, gives it a lot of room, doesn't come back. Jason Ashline on 12, and he gives it room, and it doesn't come back. Ball doesn't seem to be moving a lot this afternoon. Seymour for the spare on 11. Hold on, and he picks it up. line for the spare on 12. And he misses it to the left. Tom Cotting up for Beekman Town on 11. Gives it a lot of room. Ball sits nicely in the pocket and carries them all. Watts on lane 11 for the Eagles. And Watts leaves the 6-10. And Randy Blair with a strike on lane 12 for Saranac. Watts going for the spare and misses it to the left. Now 
Uh, Tim Clancy. Uh, lane 12. We'll leave the six pin. Shane Briette wraps up the fifth frame for the Eagles on lane five, looking for the double. And Briette crosses over, and the nine pin won't go. And he's not happy about it, <laughs> needless to say. <laughs> Clancy makes the spare on lane 12. Did we catch that reaction, cameraman Steve Hayes? Uh, you'll find out soon. The Briette for the spare, and he makes it. We can only say thank goodness he did. <laughs> 15 for Beekman Town after five. 14 for Saranac. Evan Real comes in light. Seymour for Beekman Town on 12. And he'll have a tough spare ahead of him. Riel throws it nicely to make the spare. Now Seymour on 12. Did he give it enough room? Nope. Takes out the front pin, but misses the back. And he has 104 after six. Joel Blair next up for the Chiefs. And he throws it on the left-hand side. Pin's bouncing off the wall. Cotting on 12, looks for another strike. Hooks right through the middle. He leaves the 3-6-10. Joel Blair on 11 for the spare. Slides it across. Will he get lucky? Gets the front one, but not the back one. And Cotting makes the spare on lane 12. Wide open split on 11. Watts on 12. And mixes him up, carries the strike. There might have been nine pins left laying on the deck, but Mike Watts knocks them all down. Now Van goes for the spare, takes the two as it didn't bounce around on back and come back out. Now <laughs> Shane Briette on lead 12, and no, the 10 pin won't go. Okay, Shane. Ashline leaves the one, two, eight. Briette for the spare, has it with no problem. Hey, yeah. Ashline on lane 11. And he covers his. 19 marks after five, six frames rather for the Eagles. Randy Blair to round out the sixth for Saranac with a strike. Chiefs will stay within one at 19-18. Blair looking for the double, and it's right there. Evan Riel can't 
carry the seven on lane 12. Tough break. Tim Clancy on 11. Cross is over, carries. Riel going for the spare on 12. Throws it slowly and covers it solidly. Now Roger Seymour on 11. Comes in a bit light, leaves the bucket. Joel Blair on 12. And the seven pin won't go. Seymour for the spare on 12, converts. 104 after six, spare working in the seventh. Blair for the spare on 12, and he converts. Seventy-eight in the sixth spare working. Tom Cotting on lead eleven. And he misses to the left, leaves four pins standing. And a crazy leave on lane twelve for Travis Van, the one three seven. Two ways of making this, hitting the one pin on the left-hand side, letting the ball take out the seven, or hitting it on the right-hand side in the pocket and hoping it bounces off the wall and takes out the seven. Cotting makes his spare on lane 11. We'll see how Van plays it on 12. He throws the strike shot, but it doesn't hook back. He leaves the one pin. Now Mike Watts looking for the double on lane 11. Sets it down, ball hooks back in. Nice strike by Watts. Now Jason Ashline, he sends it way out and it doesn't come back on a, on a spare. So that'll cost him. Shane Briette on late 11. Throws it right to the pocket and carries. Can't believe it. They must offer a class in theatrics at Beekman Town. Ashline gets five on his second ball. He has 70 after seven. Eagles with 25 marks through seven frames. Randy Blair on lane 12. Looking for the triple. And gets it. The four pin falls late, but nonetheless it falls, and Blair has three in a row. And the Chiefs have 21 marks. Evan Riel leaves the three pin. Now Clancy for Beekman Town on 12. Nice shot. And Clancy gets the double. Looks for the spare and picks it up on lane 11. Seymour for Beekman Town misses it to the right. And he'll have to convert the 1 2. Joel Blair on lane 11 for Saranac. Misses to the left. And he'll have the 1 3 9 to shoot at. Seymour for the spare, makes it. 122 in the seventh, spare up in the ninth, in the eighth rather. Joel Blair 
there. Nice shot on late 11. Now Cotting on 12. On 12. Goes through the middle once again and leaves the three pin. Travis Van on lane 11. And he goes through the middle. The 10 pin falls out at the last second. He'll shoot at the 4 7. Cotting misses the 2 pin on lane 12. And that'll bring up Mike Watts, who is looking for a three bagger. The first van will shoot the spare on 11. And he misses it to the left. Back on 12, Mike Watts for three in a row. Gives it a lot of room. And it doesn't come back. Mike Watts leaves the 1 2 4. Over on 11, Jason Ashline. And he'll go over across. And the 10 pin kicks out at the last second. He leaves the 5. Watts gets the kick off the wall. Knock out the 4 pin, makes the spare. 88 in the seventh, spare working in the eighth. Briette looks for the double, but sends it a bit wide to the right, leaves the one, two, four. Ash line for the spare on 11, converts it. And that'll bring up Randy Blair looking for four in a row. Briette makes the spare on 12. Now Blair for four in a row on 11. Throws it right at the pocket, have to cross over. And uh, no. He leaves the 6-10. Meanwhile, Evan Riel on lane 9. Lane 12, rather. Frame 9. Leaves the 10 pin. Keep me awake here, Steve. No comment. 9, 12, what's the difference? Well, I guess you can't. 3. Oh. <laughs> Blair makes the spare on 11. 25 marks for the Chiefs after a 30 for the Eagles. And Evan Riel picks up the spare on lane 12. Tim Clancy for the Eagles on 11. Goes Brooklyn. And leaves the 5 9. Joel Blair goes through the middle, leaves the baby split. Clancy for the spare. And he converts on 11. Now Blair for the baby split on 12. Either slide it over or go between them. He tries to go between them and him. Oh, I thought sure he had it. Nice try by Blair. Missed it by that much. Uh, Seymour crosses over and picks up a strike on lane 11. Ten pin won't go for Travis Van. Now Tom counting on 11. Did he give it enough room? No. And it crosses over. And he'll have to shoot at the 1, 3, 6, 9. 
Van misses the spare on 12. He has 112 after nine. Tom Cotting on 11. Gives it an up row, nice spare. Nice shot by Cotting. Ashline misses to the right on lane 12. He'll shoot at the one, two. Mike Watts up on 11. Watts crosses over, gets the mixer, but the nine pin won't go. Line to the spare on 12. Now Watts will try to pick up the nine pin on late 11. Shouldn't have any problem with it. And I've jinxed someone again. 116 after nine full for Mike Watts. Now Randy Blair crosses over. Leaves the six pin. With a conversion, Blair will have a possible 221. Briette for Beekman Town on 11. Doesn't come back. He leaves the one two. Spare on 12, no problem. 171 through 8, spare working in the night. Briette for the spare on 11. And he converts. Clancy starts out the 10th frame with a strike on lane 12. Clancy with a possible 185. Evan Riel on lane 11. Bit high. He leaves the 610. Clancy for the double. Picks up eight. He can round out with a 175. Evan Riel ends up with a 135. For a 385 series. Tim Clancy ends up with a 175. For a 496 series. Joel Blair leaves the 13 on lane 11. Roger Seymour up on lane 12 for Beekman Town. Nice shot by Seymour. Will the 10 pin go? No. Blair for the spare. And he chops it off. He'll end up with a 131 game for a 431 series for Joel Blair. Seymour makes the spare. And he has a possible 182.
Seymour with a fill ball on lane 12. Goes through the middle, gets eight. He'll end up with a 180. And a 536 series for Roger Seymour. Band misses the spare. He has a 119 game. And he'll have a 350 series. Tom Cotting on lane 12 for Beekman Town. Goes through the middle, leaves the baby split. Strike on lane 11 for Jason Ashline. Cotting misses the spare. Ends up with a 151 game. Four forty series. Now Watts leaves the five pin on lane twelve. Ashline looks for his second in a row, sends it out too far to the right. With a conversion, he'll have a 128. Watts misses the five pin, ends up with a 125 game for a 446 series for Mike Watts. Seymour, or Ashline rather, with a 127. With a 433 series. Come down to the final two bowlers, Shane Briette for Beekman Town. Goes on the left side. Will he get the 10 pin to fall? Nope. And Blair leaves the 10 pin on lane 11. Briette for the spare. Has it with no problem. Possible 210. And Shane Briette ends up with a 189 for a 491 series. Randy Blair to throw the final ball for Saranac. Possible 210. Cross is over, gets seven, and he has a 207 for a 492 series. That's going to wrap up our coverage of this match between the Beekman Town Eagles and the Saranac Chiefs as part of the Section 7 Bowling Tournament held in North Bowl Lanes. Thank my cameraman Steve Hayes for his work this afternoon. And for everyone at Hometown Cable, I'm Rick Knowles. Have a good night, everyone.